my name is Lindsay, and today I want to talk about some things you may have missed in the new update. These are things that I myself have missed. And I thought it'd be fun to do this since the Dungeon and Throne Tower is now out for everybody, and we also have a official update log. So the first thing you may have missed, and I don't think this is in the update log, is the quest that goes with the dungeon. I missed this when the dungeon first came out because I was so focused on doing the Dungeon and Throne Tower, I did not even look at my quests. So the quest is Detention, and it is worth 144 EXP, and it's pretty easy so it's a good amount of exp for a easy to do quest to do this quest though you will need to complete the throne tower puzzle quest and i will leave that linked down in the description just in case you don't know how to do it or you are having difficulties and since i already found the dungeon because i completed the throne tower puzzle quest I can teleport, so that is what I am going to do. So once you are in the dungeon to complete the quest, what you will need to do is come over here to one of the cells. If the cells are closed in the server you are in, you will need to come over here to one of the keys and open it. The cells are open, so all I need to do is walk inside and I will start my quest. The cells do close, so if you're in a server by yourself or if you're in a server where somebody will not open the cell door for you. All you will need to do is reset your character once the quest is completed. And if you lock yourselves up right here on the chains, the quest will go faster. Now that I am locked up, you're probably noticing the quest bar is going up slightly faster. Okay, and the quest is completed. So now all I need to do to get out of here is reset my character and I will be back to the beginning of the dungeon. So now we are right here. If you want to do other things while you're in detention, I recommend going into cell 2 because then you can actually do your sleeping needs so you could get your energy up, which will give you even more EXP. You could also do the nap quest right here. And the toilets are usable as well, so I think you could probably do bathroom break as well. I don't have that quest and I haven't had that quest for a while so I can't test it. But they are usable so I'm pretty sure you will be able to do bathroom break. Other things you may have missed is how you can skip the throne tower quest if you've already completed it once. So you can only do the things that I am showing you if you completed the throne tower puzzle quest once. I've noticed people completing it multiple times because they don't realize they can skip it once they have already done it. I already showed you one way already and that is teleporting to the dungeon. You only get this icon if you completed the Throne Tower puzzle quest. If you haven't completed that quest, this will not be on your map. But there is another way you can skip this puzzle quest, and that is in the Throne Room. So let's go ahead and enter the Throne Tower real quick. So once you enter the Throne Room, if you come over here to the Thrones, on the back of this one, there will be a Dungeon Lover pull. And if you pull it, the entrance to the dungeon will open. So you do not have to complete the Throne Tower quest multiple times. Once you've done it once, there are ways to skip it. So third thing you may have missed is weekly hairs are now back. If you go into the hair styles, you will notice a timer. The timer is only in the feminine section. The masculine section doesn't have one, so my theory is we will get one feminine hair and one masculine hair every week now instead of it being bi-weekly. I think we're going to get both every week. And the masculine hair is made by somebody brand new. So the masculine hair is made by Gazing Jen. I think it's how you would pronounce that username. So we now have a new hairstyle creator. I'm wondering if we will see more new creators in the future. And then the feminine hairstyle was made by Ready the Teddy. We also have brand new bangs. I think we have six brand new bangs. Five of the bangs is made by Ready the Teddy and then one bang is made by Gazing Jen. The next thing you may have missed is we have a brand new art borders. They are summer fantasy art borders and they are gorgeous. We have them in colors, tropical paradise, tide pool, 
Sunset View, Mermaid Grotto, Beach Day, and Siren Song. I think my favorites are Sunset View and Mermaid Grotto. I'm glad to have these because now I will definitely need to play art class more so I can get these art borders. The fifth thing you may have missed, and I do think you probably missed this because it is not in the update log, is in addition to the art borders, Royal High let us know on Twitter that there are 80 new art art class prompts. Now I'm pretty sure these prompts are already out because they kind of added them in with the art borders and now we have the art borders so I'm pretty sure that means we have the new prompts as well. And lastly we have new badges. One is in game and the other ones are not in game yet but I do want to talk about them in this video. So they finally activated the artist wall of fame badge so this is now Earnable. Looks like we have a lot of players who managed to join the Artist Wall of Fame. I haven't joined it yet, but now that the badge is active and earnable, I might actually try for the badge now. I kind of got a little bit lazy with my art class grinding. And we have five new question mark badges here in Royal High. There's a lot of theories going around as to what these could be. Be. The three theories that I have seen is the first one, these could be for the new crowned royalty members, which is what I think. The second theory I have seen is Royal High is going to be part of the Roblox Classic event, which I don't think they will be. Royal High is an old game, but I don't know if it's considered a classic game to be in the event. I'm not really sure. I don't know too much about the event yet. And then another theory is these could be for a few future update like campus 4 I personally think these will be crown royalty badges. So I know we have more than five new crown royalty, so they have to add more for these badges to be crown royalty. So if they don't add any more, that means these are not crowned royalty badges. So I think that is everything you probably missed in the new update. Let me know how much you missed or how much you knew about already and please make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on that bell notification so you never miss when I post and I will see you in the next video. Bye!